man. So there's been some interest about this our DIY camping table. So I would like to just do a quick video to see uh, what it is and how we make this. So as you can see, this table is low, lower to the ground. It's about 18 inches from the ground to the tabletop and about 20, uh, let's see, 26 inches wide and about four feet wide that way. So, you know, I was looking for a table that is, you know, as you can see, big enough or long enough for family of four, um, but I could not find anything on Amazon. So what do we do? You know, if you can't find it, we have to build it. And then also uh, my other requirement was needed to be collapsible and somehow it rolls up in a roll and then um, so that I can kind of store more or less compact. And also I'll show you later, but this also reduce it down to um, uh, sort of shorter length this way. So if I'm just out by myself or just two people, you know, I don't have to have everything pulled out to the four, 48 inches long. So let me uh, take this part and then let you see how I um, assemble these. Okay, so this is how this disassemble the uh, top, uh, the, uh, the slots, all these are uh, connected with this bungee. And there's the uh, two uh, dowel that you can see sticking out it just holds everything tight this way so I just snap pull that out and then there's the same thing on the other side and um, so I'll just look for that. So here's the um, uh, disassembled uh, top. Um, this is pretty much about the size of the, uh, you know, folded table and the weight. And uh, I guess I didn't say that this is um, the Baltic Birds 38 inch thick. And uh, I think I could have probably done it with quarter inch if I wanted to, to make it this a little bit lighter and then a little more compact. But uh, you know using this with the kids and then you know they don't have a concept of um, you know going easy on any of the uh, tables and stuff like that so i think three quarter i mean three eighths inch would hold up a little bit better but i think quarter inch would be just fine as well so this is the uh, main frame of the uh, table everything is the aluminum tube and i have three so the cross member going this way so the, this top two is the one that supports the tabletop and the one in the middle um, is the, the I guess more of the keystone kind of member that keeps everything you see the sort of X leg and this is the uh, just single piece that goes through and you can see there's a rivet um, so that kind of stop from sliding it down um, and also you can see here there's the one of those uh, i can't i don't know what it's called but it's the uh the push and snap stops and so i uh, just press that and then the uh, two end piece will slide into the middle to make it a little bit long i mean uh, shorter when i'm ready to um, disassemble the frame so let me show you how to do that
So the one in the middle has sort of the alternating holes that I stick this leg in until it hits the uh, this rivet and then do the same thing from the other side to create the X and then once I put the top cross member it will hold everything in place. And again this the middle will have this push stand thingy just to make it a little better, a little more compact. So this will be the bundle for the other legs. So here is the everything disassemb disassembled. Um, and so this is about the size. So obviously this tabletop is um, 26 inches and I was not able to make this leg the not the leg but the cross member any shorter than I wanted to keep everything within this tabletop but oh well so so you know you see this is about the size of the uh, storage space it will take in my trunk and uh, but I think it's fairly compact I would think and uh, let me show you how I assembled this back in a sort of a shorter version, like two, two person uh, table version. And uh, here's the uh, little bonus, I guess. Uh, this is pretty much true to any project that I do, especially if I have to repeat the same pattern over and over. Uh, I will create a, a template out of a MDF. Uh, this one here, I use two sheets of a quarter inch um, MDF so that I have a little more width for the uh, router, uh, bearing on the router a uh, bit to kind of track along. But then basically I just make this one template perfect to what I want to do this to look like. And once I make this, then I'll just, you know, cut the plywood oversize a little bit and then take it to the router table and route everything the same. And uh, you see there's a hole here um, that I use to drill out these holes. And, you know, I can just flip and then, you know, use the same thin and in that way 
everything is the same distance from the edge to here and from this edge to that. So, and I can give you more details if anybody interested. Uh, the hardest part for me anyway was to find the aluminum tube the right size uh, so that I can telescope the uh, middle piece and then without paying a fortune for it. Uh, obviously, you know, if you go to online, there's a lot of places you can, but you know, uh, since I just need a very, uh, you know, small quantity, it kind of got expensive, but you know, that's, that's, that's part of the uh, game typically when you have to DIY something. But anyway, this is, this is my camping table.